I think one of the reasons that the Loughton Atlantis sounds so great is that the synergy between the Atlantis's large head basket and the 38mm extra-large capsule creates a microphone that not only captures sound, but it enhances it. And the result is a recording that feels immersive, detailed, and professional, qualities that are often described as larger than life. Let's talk about it. From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So the interplay between the capsule and this large head basket really contributes to the the way the, the Loudon Atlantis just sounds so amazing because the acoustical benefits of a large head basket cannot be ignored any more than the size of this behemoth mic itself. Because a larger head basket actually improves the way that sound waves interact with the capsule. It improves the way that the whole microphone sounds. And here's how. Because think of the head basket as a meshed chamber. And inside that mesh chamber, the way that sound waves behave is a lot different than the way they behave outside of the microphone. Because this increased uh, volume of air that surrounds the capsule in a larger head basket actually um, acts as an acoustic buffer of sorts, right? It, um, it allows uh, low frequency sounds to, to breathe and um, disperse more evenly. And that results in a cleaner, more detailed capture. So you get a smoother, low-frequency response as a result of this um, the pressure being equalized better before it hits the diaphragm, right? Isn't that cool? So the problem with small, uh, poorly designed head baskets is that sometimes they can reinforce these standing waves that can happen inside of the head basket, which, which um, increases this low frequency energy and the low end colorization that you get um, with, uh, with, some, with some cheaper microphones. Um, but with a larger head basket, you get this smoother acoustic path to the diaphragm which ensures that the capsule receives a more accurate representation of you, the sound source. So you, um, the, the, the head basket volume, right, what it's doing is it's the air pressure changes that happen inside of it uh, get dampened a little bit more, right, because of the physics of the, this, this acoustic buffer, this, this air pillow that surrounds it. Um, the gradual changes of that pressure as opposed to a smaller head basket uh, reduces the sharp spikes in low frequency energy that uh, typically occur um, when, you are, when you are using proximity effect, when you're close to the mic, like when you're doing voiceover. So the benefits of a larger head basket when you're, when you're right on top of the mic are, are significant. So you get a definitely more, you get that fuller sound, but you get it without all that, that woofy, muffled, um, just uh, unusable, like just, just power and energy that happens down there that will have to be um, dealt with at, in post. But you, can, you don't have to worry about it when you have a larger head basket. I love that. And this is all like wave physics uh, at play. This is, all, this is all diffraction and wave interaction. Because low-frequency sound waves, right, they're, they're larger than, than high-frequency sound waves. Um, and and low-frequency sound waves, um, because of the longer wavelengths, it makes them less susceptible to high-frequency like um, uh, uh, interactions, like diffraction around the edges of the capsule. And a larger head basket uh, changes how, uh, how these waves propagate inside of the head basket. And um, the increased distance between the capsule and the outer grill allows these longer wavelengths to diffuse more properly, uh, reducing their dominance in, the, in your sound capture. So, and these designs uh, are, are uh, created to avoid uh, trapping or focusing all of this low frequency energy near the capsule. So the larger head basket uh, acts as kind of an acoustic lens of sorts. It shapes the way that the low frequency sound waves reach the diaphragm. Um, and it does this by, by uh, providing more internal space. And re which reduces the reflections and um, allows for, for more gradual and natural pressure changes uh, hitting the diaphragm. So the head basket uh, mitigates the extreme bass boost of the proximity effect. And that results in a sound 
that is warm, uh, that that retains the warmth. It retains the fullness without without becoming boomy or overly uncontrolled. And that's the big problem with some mics when you get on top of them, is that low end becomes a little bit uncontrolled and uncontrollable. So what you end up with is this reduced proximity effect, uh, reduced proximity effect artifacts. Um, and it helps smooth out uh, the low frequency buildup. So, uh, and that's all great because it ensures that you get this warm, controlled bass response uh, and the minimum, the uh, the minimized reflections of a large head basket. Um, definitely helps helps uh, control uh, some of those weird resonances that can color your sound. So you get a more natural overall capture and more open tonal character. You also get like enhanced high frequency detail because what happens is this this uh, spacious design <laughs> can allow high frequencies to reach the capsule with uh, less diffraction, uh, which preserves the clarity and your articulation. So you can see how this is all very beneficial for voiceover. Now that's just that's just what the head basket does, and we talked about the capsule, but again, the capsule, this thirty eight millimeter capsule in conjunction with this head basket, the synergy between them. Because the 38 millimeter capsule, the increased surface area, right, it brings, um, it brings advantages that, that amplify the perceived uh, sound. The, the, it amplifies, it makes you sound larger than life because you get this improved low-end sensitivity. A larger diaphragm uh, has, uh, is naturally more responsive to low-frequency energy. Um, and that helps you add warmth and depth and a sense of power to the sound. And this creates a fuller, richer tone that definitely feels larger than life. You get this enhanced transient response because the larger capsule captures transients more, uh, more dynamically. Um, and that provides a sense of presence and, um, and uh, immediacy in your recordings. And so you also get you also get this greater signal strength because a larger diaphragm um, produces uh, stronger electrical impulses resulting in a, a, a lower noise floor and greater signal-to-noise ratio. And so this all contributes to a cleaner, more robust sound. So the, it all comes into play because it's the perception of, of size, right? This, this interplay between the large head basket and the 38 millimeter capsule, it, it enhances the, the spatial cues in your brain, right? And it also, it also creates a, a, like a subtle harmonic richness in the soundstage because the way the microphone is able to capture a broader sound field, right? Adding this depth and dimension to the audio, right? Is, is very noticeable in vocal recordings, in voiceover, where, you know, the voice, uh, where it seems to fill the room more. And part of that is because you get this, this combination of uh, these components, right? It, it's kind of introducing a, a very subtle harmonic richness, which, you know, actually helps give the sound a more polished and professional character. And so it's, it's a more balanced tonality. That's what I love about it. So uh, the overall design of this mic ensures that no single frequency range dominates and it results in a, in a more balanced sound that feels expansive yet controlled. I should also say expensive, expansive and expensive. So, so in conclusion, right, if you are interested at all in going deeper down this rabbit hole of larger than life sound, you, you got to check out the fascinating psychology behind why this is important for voiceover. So I want you to come back and listen to my upcoming episode of the Microphone Playboy, which will drop tomorrow on this channel. Because if you are not considering, if you're not taking into consideration the psychology behind, uh, behind voiceover, you are absolutely missing out on taking advantage of one of the biggest secret weapons that you can have in your arsenal. So in this cutthroat business, you need to do more than just read scripts into a mic. Because if that's all you're doing and you're not getting the results you want, or if you want to just take your game to the next level, come check out this next episode of the Microphone Playboy. I guarantee you'll like it. So I want to know what you're thinking, though. All right? 
So until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto and Emkoff, Fading to Black.